Hello and welcome back folks. A lot of times uh, people come up to us and ask what are predecessors and they're confused about the definition of predecessors in MS project. So today we'll be covering this short video and explaining that predecessors to put it simply are the IDs or the task ID numbers for the tasks that a certain other task is dependent upon. So for example, any task if you see has some information uh, pertaining to it so i'll head over to the predecessors tab directly and it has a few information it's asking me if a task is dependent on something so predecessor is basically if my task is depending on some other task for example i want this particular task task number eight to be dependent on analyze complete all right so what i'll do is an easier way is to select from here however uh, for example if i select it from here it will directly show and by default it will take or show you this as dependent on task id 4 which name is analyze complete and its default mapping or relationship with that task is finished to start which means that task number four task with id number four will finish after which this task will start without any lag so we to better understand predecessors it has a few information firstly it's uh it has an id it means you have to give it an ID which will create a relationship of this particular task with, with any other task in this project plan. So for example, I want to make a dual relationship with task number 4 and task number 7. So I enter task 4, ID of task 4 and by default you see it automatically picks up the task name and its type so type is basically the relationship which will allow that uh, or which will tell that this particular task is the review is is related to task 4 in a way that when task 4 finishes this task will start after that so there are a few types of uh, uh, relationships that can be defined default is finished to start so this means when a task finishes then this particular task will start after that not before that second is start to start that means both of these tasks task number four and task number eight will start consecutively second or third rather is finish to finish which means that task number eight will finish alongside task number four and last but not least is start to finish which means that task 4 will start once task number 8 finishes so it's a reverse of finish to start so these are few types uh, the default types that are available for a relationship and the last fields or parameter or column is lag lag allows you to create a gap between two tasks for example by default it's zero days task number eight will immediately start after task number four however if i want to create give it a three days gap between four and eight so it will allow you to start task number eight three days after task number four and second let's say i want to create a relationship with task number seven and i want to mention it as finish to finish without any lag and it will create you can see it will show that predecessors details over there so if i change the percentages over here it will sorry it will portray this information accordingly so basically task number four as you see is finishing on 14th 
and task number and task number seven is finishing on 17th however as i marked this to start after three days so it's it has created a lag and pushed it forward keeping in view the remaining number of uh, the, the number of activity days that it requires i think it was five days initially so let's reduce it to that so it will adjust the days as accordingly so if we just open it up again and make sure we map it out so task four sorry task a is, is dependent on task four and uh, with the relationship of finish to start and three days lag so finish to start is meaning that this will finish on 17th and 8th will start on 18th right oh, sorry uh, this will finish on sunday on 14th and this will start three days after that so it has given that lag and also there is uh, a dependency or uh, uh, de or a relationship with task number seven that task number seven and task number eight should finish equally or would finish side by side however since task number four is pushing it forward so it will change the dates so over here you can see that it's aligning it accordingly so this was uh, today's video where we showed what a predecessor is so i hope you uh, understood the definition and i hope you will be using it effectively in your project plans so please do like the video and please remain subscribed to the channel to keep listening to such information uh, in future as well take care of yourselves and bye